All right, I'm going to quickly go over taking a single photo that was taken in RAW format and creating two additional photos from this single photo, one with a slightly higher exposure value, one with a slightly under exposure value. We'll take all three of those from Lightroom, have it exported into Photomatix Pro to do the HDR work, and, uh, and then we'll have a final image brought back here. So just the basic workflow overview. Uh, we won't go into a lot of details on the, the settings and the sliders, just a quick uh, idea and concept of how, how it works with these applications. So this is our image, lingodigital-8489.dng. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. This is Photoshop CS5. They should all be pretty similar. Just go to File, Open. We'll go down and open the original image that we're wanting to make an HDR photo out of. Since it's in RAW, we're going to get the, the Camera RAW plugin will open up and allow us to do uh, you know edits on the RAW image. We're going to use this to create our overexposed and underexposed images that we will then bring into Photomatix. Okay, so this is our zero image. You can see our file name here, 8489. And we're going to bring the exposure to negative two in this case. You could use uh, you can use whatever values you want here, negative one, negative two, negative three, whichever gets the, uh, you know, play around with them, see what you like. You could even do a few different, you know, bracketed shots here. You could make a negative three, a negative two, a negative one, zero, one, and so on. But I'm just going to do a negative two, save image. We're going to change the document name to... The new file will be lingual digital 8489 and I'm going to add a not negative 2 there to represent this new file. We're going to save it in the same location. And there it is. Now we'll change it to plus 2. Save image. We'll change the file name to end in plus 2. Save it in the same location. Now we can cancel and get out of Photoshop. We'll go back to Lightroom. And we want to show the new images that are now in this folder. So right click on the folder we were just working in. The same, and uh, we'll go to synchronize folder. Import new photos to synchronize. Okay, there's the two new images that are found in that folder. We'll import them. There they are. Now, the quickest way to get back to the folder with all three images, with these two and the three, this is just showing the latest imported, previous import. And uh, we'll just right click one of these images, go to folder and library. Now we can see all three. We're at the right folder and all that work. And we want to take all three of these, bring them into Photomatic. So click the first, hold down shift on your keyboard, click the last. If you had more shots that you were wanting to do at different exposures, you just click the first, same, hold down shift, click the last image, and that'll, that'll select all of them. In our case, we have three. Good to go. Right click, go down to export, and if you have Photomatix Pro installed, you should see it here on this export image to Photomatix Pro. All right, you'll get the Photomatix dialog that comes up. We don't want to align images or reduce ghosting artifacts because we essentially have three of the same image just at different exposures. We shouldn't have any alignment issues and nothing within the image should change other than the lighting. So we're good to go. Uh, this handling of processed image just makes life a little bit easier for you. Uh, we'll have it automatically re-import in the Lightroom library once we're finished. So hit export. This will take these three images and create TIFFs to be imported into or opened in Photomatix. So it looks like it messed up 
our exposure inform information a little bit. Our, it's, it's guessing at it, but it, it missed. It says that uh, the exposure information is missing, or one or more images have the same exposure setting. This is pretty normal to get this box whenever you do it like this. So we had uh, a spacing of two. So we'll just set this to two. And you don't have to pay this any mind because we're just going to set the spacing there. Hit OK. If you had done a spacing of one, you would have set that accordingly. It opens the image and it's going to use, uh, it'll bring up whatever presets you had. If we wanted to, we could change to another preset listed down here. Let's not go into detail. I'm just going to use the, de the black and white enhancer. Come over and save and re import. Here it comes. All right, those last two check boxes is what made it just open up right here in Lightroom nice and easy. If we double click it, we can see it. Looks uh, looks good. You could now go over to Develop in Lightroom and uh, make a, any non-destructive editing changes that you'd want to do: cropping, exposure, highlights, clarity, vibrance, all that stuff. Do your final touches. Uh, you can then go back over to Library, upload it to your website, whatever it is you want to do with the image, print it, whatever. So that's pretty much it. You took one image, created two new images, and brought it into Photomatics, created an HDR image, and that's it. I hope it helped you out.